guys. Let me get the lighting right here. Cuts. I have to turn it this way. I don't know. It's kind of bright. Which looks best? I don't know. Crazy. Well, I am in my on my island and behind me is my rainforest so I'm very excited about being out here today in the sunshine look at the sunshine hopefully the video is good because you know when you have a rainforest you're not really used to a lot of sunshine particularly in rainy and cloudy so hey Megan oh thank you I appreciate that so much <laughs> you're awesome you know that and you are beautiful I know that your pictures are just beautiful I'm trying to I, I'm not used to sunshine <laughs> so I'm trying to get where you can see me but yet you know it's not too dark because we have sunshine here and there's our birds in our rainforest which I love to watch so I'm trying to stand where I'm not directly in the Sun I think that's probably too bright so anyway we'll just keep going <laughs> oh you're welcome and I, I love my big trees behind me, my big gorgeous rainforest trees. It is so lovely and beautiful and I'm very thankful that I am here where I'm at, that I can enjoy such beauty. It's incredible and I love it here and um, the sunshine today is a gift, let me tell you, because normally it is kind of rainy or cloudy and really the past week has been so nice. Well, thanks, Megan. Aw, thank you so Well, I love your pictures, too. It's so nice to have Facebook for that reason. I mean, that's why I really got on Facebook, so I could see people, see our people's pictures and stuff, you know, and so it was really awesome. So, um, I really love that. And I really wanted to talk to you about a story. I wanted to tell a story today and so that's what I wanted to talk about and um, I just appreciate you getting on today I appreciate you watching and um, so I'm going to talk to you about a story that's very was a part of our life actually the story happened about 10 years ago and I've not shared it on my live but I wanted to share it today because I wanted to inspire people definitely don't want to not be able to share a story like this and so I wanted to talk to you about it um, I had um, we were living in the lower 48 I'll say about 10 years ago and I was home doing my thing my husband was coming back from a meeting actually and so I was excited waiting for him to get home and then I, I received this phone call okay and this is the kind of phone call you never want to get and you pray you never get and that was he was in a bad accident and I just jumped in my van and went right to the hospital because it wasn't far away I didn't tell anybody I just went right into the hospital because I was shaking. I should probably not have driven myself, but I was shaking and I just got in the car, got to the hospital, got in there as fast as I could. And when I got to the hospital, um, of course, I found out that he was a quad. He couldn't feel anything from his chest down. His arms didn't move. His legs didn't move. He was just totally a quad from the chest down. And I was just kind of shocked, of course. You don't expect anything like that to happen, ever. And so now he is a quad, and he's in the hospital, and I'm in the hospital because I'm going to stay by his side. So I stayed in the hospital. And the prognosis on my husband wasn't too good. They didn't expect him to ever walk again. And, you know that's what it was and so he had this operation a nine-hour operation and he was in the ICU before that he was actually in traction and he they were trying to pull a spine uh, cord back into uh, alignment better so they could operate on him and the traction was pretty tough I had to hit the pain button every um, 
I don't know why they give him a pain button tell him he can push the button when he needs pain meds because he couldn't move but crazy it's the way it was so I did it and every 10 minutes actually I pushed that button because he was in a lot of pain and this is where he was before operation and operation time since we were pushing the button every 10 minutes I went home and took a nap I wasn't worried about the operation or any of that I mean he survived the crash and I knew God had a reason for that and I didn't I went home and slept while he was in his operation and I was really tired <laughs> so I slept and you know you would think that I was crying I was depressed I was losing it and I was a total basket case you would think that but that wasn't true no that was not true and that's a crazy thing but I was smiling I grabbed on to every positive thing and repeated it over and over all day and even before I went to bed I did grabbed on all the positive things. I mean you know the nurses would come into the room laughing and joking and carrying on and they brought such joy and lifted us up we looked so forward for them to come in the room they were such an incredible wonderful nurses and they always did whatever they needed to help my husband out reposition whatever they did and they were just so precious so sweet and so lovely and there were so many blessings we had in the hospital we just grabbed everyone and repeated it all day and actually at night we repeated it we went over all the blessings we had that day and it was so incredible so nice it was like really it was like sunshine in our hearts that lifted us up they were such a blessing best nurses i'm telling you so blessed and then we went to rehab and he wasn't able to move anything when we got to rehab but the beauty of rehab was there was a bed <laughs> and i could lay down and actually sleep because i'd been in a chair so and i only went home like once a week if then to wash my clothes and i came right back so i was always there with him and um he um you know they they told him he wouldn't you know walk again he was quad they didn't expect him to walk all they were planning to do was get him from a wheelchair to his bed on a sideboard that was the goal for him to be able to get out of the um, hospital but but my husband knew and he told his therapist he knew that he was going to walk again and you're like <laughs> okay but then the 11 day miracle happened and I'll tell you what he went from getting up on the RJO and RJO is a machine that you strap your arms in hold on to this peg and it lifts you up because you can't it lifted him up in 30 seconds 30 seconds was really all he could take in 30 seconds he was just exhausted and sweating out bad and he had to stop so let me tell you about the 11 day miracle because this is how it started and he went from 30 seconds on the Arjo, hardly being able to make it, to walking up and down the halls with a walker in 11 days. Now that was totally a miracle. Welcome, thanks for getting on. I'm just telling my story, uh, something that's happened. And um, so, you know, we were just so thankful, so blessed because what a gift what a miracle that was in 11 days from being not able to move not able to do anything because he was a quad this I'm talking about my husband he was in a bad accident and was a quad and they did not expect him to walk ever again here he was in 11 days walking up and down the hall in the hospital going from 30 seconds in the Arjo to walking up and down with a walker in the hospital what an incredible miracle we were so excited so happy and you know it was such a gift and i could tell you right now that he walked out of the hospital it, well of course they will tear him to the car but he he was able to walk and he walked into his house when he got released after three months in the hospital he walked in his house and what a huge blessing that was and you know he was um, really a couple years ago this had been 10 years ago but a couple years ago he ran a marathon 
So I am so thankful, so blessed, and I'm just so incredibly overwhelmed with such happiness and joy of how that worked out. And I know that being positive does help no matter what your situation, because it makes it better. It lifts you up. It, no matter what happens, you know, it, it's so good for you. And I just wanted to share this story. You could see some, anything is possible, no matter what you're going through, anything is possible. Absolutely. And I just thankful that you're on and appreciate you um, being here so I could share my story with you. Um, if you get on after my live, just hit hashtag replay and where you're tuning in from. I'd love to see where you're from. And um, I invite you though to our Wednesday webinar tonight. This is what I do for my um, an entrepreneur. And that's what I do at home. And I I really wanted to invite you on, so if you could get on tonight, you just have to register in the link above. I'd love to have you join us tonight on our webinar, and I just so appreciate you being on. I'm going to have to wave goodbye from Alaska, from my island in Alaska, and my beautiful rainforest, and I hope to see you tonight. So, thanks for watching. Bye from Alaska.